welcome. In this video I will show you how you can black hole a account. So you can see here that the some community version is offering um, new functionality here and you've got a tab here for black holing an account. And you can see here, so what does it mean? If you black hole an account, uh, it means that you w won't have access to the account anymore and that this account can never ever like transfer any token from it anymore. Usually um, token issuers do that so they ensure that uh, the supply is fixed. So if, if somebody issues their own coin, they might consider black holding the account so people know that no new tokens can be issued. Because if you don't do that, um, if you, for example, issue a currency or anything, for example, also create your own token, for example, I create the DEF token, then I could um, issue 10 and then again 10 and so on. And if I would black hole it, then people know that it's not possible anymore. <clears throat> so we're doing it on a tested here. So then you have to sign in with some in this case. So I will be starting my emulator again. So this will take a short while. All right, so you can see here that I've got the test and issue account here. I'm right now connected to the testnet. And I will be opening this link, so I have to copy the address. And so, in, so this is just for me right now. I just have to copy that there, so it's gonna open some. So yeah, I'm fine with that here. <clears throat> so now I'm just gonna open it in some here, and I have to sign. So that, this is right now just a payment for 5XOP, so the person who created that, oh, I'm right now just signing in, right? So the account will be, was fetched here. You can see here I've got right now 9, 974XOP here, <clears throat> and I'm, I can still send it, so I can continue here. Um, right, so to, then it asks you to what account you want to send the remaining XOP to. So again, um, you can open it in some, so now I need a second account though. I will just quickly, um, I've got, I'm going to quickly generate one. So I'm just going to copy the secret here. Okay, full access, family seed, I will just paste it there. I'm just going to call that whatever the receiver account. <clears throat> this is the account which will just receive the remaining SOP in this case. So we'll just copy the uh, sum link again. I will have to open it here in the browser. <clears throat> right, so again, open some. So in this case, the receiver account shall sign the, uh, shall say that it once received that. Right, and uh, now there's just a payment. So the uh, person who's offering the service wants you to pay five XOP. So the person who's pro programmed that. So the, these five XOP are being paid here then. And after that, there's the final transaction for the actual black holing. So you can see here that, uh, yeah, you understand all of that. So you, you, you know all the consequences here. Then the first part is send remaining XOP to a recipient. So I can just go to the events here again. <clears throat> so this right now here is the remain, sending the remaining amounts to the receiver. So like I said, um, saving the XOP which are on it. Then the next part, you can see here, this is the incoming XOP. This is just an a, a account flag. So people people still can send the XOP, but there is a warning on the client side. So this is gonna be, uh, uh, this is gonna uh, be checked on a client. So people don't, so the clients block doing that. Uh, then, you are then setting a, right now we're setting a regular key, saying that the only person who's allowed to sign for this account is gonna be account one, and account one can't be accessed by anyone. So right now we're setting a regular key. And then there's the last part, disabling the master key. And with, dis with, with the disabling of the master key, uh, the signing gets finally disabled. So after I do that, there's also a warning. The transaction disables a private key for the account, so it may lock you out. So this is, li like I said, the most dangerous transaction on the exit ledger. After doing that, this account won't be able to sign anymore. So right now, I lost full, full access of my main account here. So you can see here, that's the receiver account, but of the test and issuer account, that was the main account, I can't do anything anymore. So you can see here, I can just show the QR code, uh, but I can't sign anymore. And yeah, that's how the black hole account functionality works.
So like I said, you've got two accounts and there's just uh, a extra feature which is there for retrieving all of your, the XRP from it because obviously if you don't have, um, uh, well, if you don't, if you want to black hole the account, you obviously want to rescue or save the remaining XRP on it. And yes, that's how all of that works. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.